welcome in this video we will see how to migrate your confluent platform cluster from zookeeper to craft using confluent for kubernetes also known as cfk what it means is you have the confluent platform cluster deployed and managed by cfk the cluster uses zookeeper for managing cluster metadata and you can use cfk to migrate this setup to use craft instead of zookeeper with simple steps before going into how cfk does the migration let us learn the basic steps of craft migration start with getting the cluster id from the cp cluster and keep it handy with you and then deploy and start the craft controller quorum which means you need to deploy craft nodes with migration mode enabled and format the storage on each controller node with the cluster id that was re retrieved earlier and other controller configurations including networking and then start each controller yourself then you enable metadata migration on each of the brokers which requires you to roll all the brokers with the right kafka version ibp version etc ibp is inter broker protocol and you also need to configure the brokers for migration once the migration starts you need to watch the logs and monitor the migration and make sure the metadata migration gets completed as expected once it is done you need to migrate the brokers to use craft instead of zookeeper which requires another set of rules on the brokers with a special migration config to disconnect from zookeeper ensure zookeeper configurations are manually removed uh, from the properties as well at this stage once this is done you can take craft controllers out of migration mode to do that you need to change the craft configurations and then roll the craft controller quorum again to finalize the migration as it is evident here this is a long list of manual work you need to do on each broker and controller node in your cluster to achieve a successful migration in addition to that you also need to monitor each stage uh, manually and ensure the steps are progressing as expected imagine doing this for tens or hundreds of clusters and it gets really complicated and time consuming cfk helps you do this in a much simpler steps by one completely abstracting the node level operations you only do operations once and cfk does it on all the nodes for you in the right way two simplifying the steps by automating all the networking and configurations for you three ensuring adequate monitoring of the migration phases and taking appropriate actions automatically this makes the migration process well orchestrated and less prone to errors and finally four providing a final configuration state that you can export and use in your gitops workflows uh, if you already have that set up for your cluster now let us look at the phases of craft migration in cfk at a high level before starting the migration you need to deploy the craft controllers automatically using the crd and cube control no need for manual steps here the deployment automates retrieval of the cluster id and using it in craft configs deployment of all quorum nodes and starting of the craft controller quorum once the migration starts it goes through these broad phases first is the setup phase in this phase cfk locks the kafka zookeeper and craft nodes for update and delete requests by non service account users it verifies that the confluent platform version is 7.6 or higher it makes sure the right inter broker protocol version is set which needs to be greater than or equal to 3.5 the next phase is migrate in this phase the craft reference is added to all the brokers and cfk initiates and waits for kafka roles to complete and then goes into dual write phase in the dual write phase metadata gets copied to both 
zookeeper and craft upon each cluster action you can validate your cluster operation here before deciding to move to craft permanently or not the next phase is move to craft controller only or roll back to zookeeper depending on your decision to move to craft or not you can take either of these routes and cfk will automatically make the changes required for you once this is done you need to finish off by stopping the zookeeper nodes and deleting them you can also download the crs for controller and broker and you can use it in your gitops workflows now let's look at a demo of this at work here i have a running cfk cluster along with a producer to demonstrate the migration now let's add a craft migration job let's go ahead and apply now we can track the migration job using this command here we are in the setup phase now and the sub setup is ibp upgrade complete as we progress we will see the faces changing here you will see cfk verifying the craft controllers are healthy or not if we scroll back we will see all the faces that the job has passed through you can see things like ibp upgrade cluster id setup zookeeper endpoint setup craft controller setup and craft controller health check the setup phase is complete now next csk will move to migrate phase as we can see here there is migrate phase being run where metadata gets migrated from zookeeper to kafka and once that setup is complete you will see that the phase changes to dual right expect a fair amount of time for the migration of metadata to complete if your cluster has large amount of metadata the time taken for migration is dependent on how much metadata your cluster has and how much data the broker holds and the time taken by the brokers and controllers for rolling let's continue to monitor the progress of the job now we are into the dual right phase you can continue to operate the cluster as usual in this phase for as long as you want and validate that your setup works well now let's look at what pods we are running you can see craft controller as well as zookeepers running in parallel once you are happy you can move to complete the migration the cluster will roll again so this might take some time once the config changes are done and the rolls are complete the cluster will 
move into complete phase. Once complete, you will see a status like this, which will indicate the completion of the job and then indicate to take post migration actions like downloading the CRs and deleting the zookeeper. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's disable the lock that we had set earlier. And then download the Kafka YAML. And then download the craft controller YAML. This is what the CRDs look like for Kafka and craft. Now we can go ahead and delete the zookeeper. With that, our migration is complete. As you can see, there are no zookeepers running here. Now let's test this using the producer app that we had installed earlier. As we can see, the messages are still flowing as expected. That concludes this demo. So as we can see, it is extremely easy for us to move from Zookeeper to Craft using CFK. Hope you found this video useful. Thank you for watching.